Thanks again for the fill, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. We're doing a five box mixer of Donra Soccer. I've uh, been getting a lot of questions about if I'm going to post more. Uh, I will be posting more, more of these probably starting tomorrow. The only problem is I don't have any more of these left. I only have like one box of that left. So basically, we're just going to probably go to... I haven't decided yet. i got to price it. We'll either do a three box or a four box um, uh, hobby. I'm probably going to do a three box just to keep uh, costs down, but we'll see. Uh, I'll post that uh, either tomorrow or Monday uh, once we clear out some of this stuff from the uh, website. Uh, but 98 and 99 will be the last two of this format where we have these two kind of uh, boxes as well. I am Soccer Breakers FC. If you're interested in joining my breaks, join our Facebook group, Soccer Breakers FC. All breaks are live on YouTube. Simply search Soccer Breakers FC. Check us out on our website, www.soccerbreakersfc.com. Follow us on Instagram, just plain old Soccer Breakers. Uh, there's some stuff there. Uh, we're going to get all that broken. There's a bunch of obsidian we're going to do tonight. Um, there's also select that I haven't put up there. Uh, so for sure, those four are going to get done, but we're going to get some more done stuff done too. I tried to get on a little bit earlier, so hopefully we'll get a little bit of a head start. Uh, here we go with our teams. Uh, Anthony D, you got Germany, Sporting, and Denmark. Chris, you got Dortmund, Portugal, and sorry, Christopher Malley. You got uh, Dortmund, Chris Padilla, you got Portugal and Argentina. Claudio, you got Bayern and Italy, David, Spain, Devon, uh, Croatia. Jerome, uh, Man City, uh, Jerome Bennett, Jerome Muskies, uh, Atletico, KC, uh, Inter, uh, Kristen, uh, Belgium and Brazil, uh, Tommy, Napoli, Luigi, uh, Colombia, Luther, the ladies, Mark, Mexico, Nathan, PSG, France, Barcelona, Real Madrid, uh, and the USA men. Good luck, Nathan. Uh, Rene, uh, you have a uh, Juve. Uh, England is Senyin. Sean is Monaco. And Australia, Aaron Porto. And Zach has the Netherlands. That does it. Let me just do a little divider here between these two. Alrighty. Twenty twenty Euro preview stickers. Ooh, I'm not really sure about that, John. Don't know a lot about that. Yeah, I know the Red Bull sells really well. The Zalsberg stickers, those, uh, I don't know about the other ones.
There we go. All right, rated rookie Timothy Weya. Beautiful game, Renato Sanchez. in there, Timo Werner. I gather they'll sell pretty well. I've been told. Get a... Werner Hollow. Mbappe. I see. Higuain, rookie. There's uh, Larson. Uh, Silva to one forty nine. Saul Niguez.
Rakitic, Silver, Weston McKinney, Silver Hollow, To 75, Kevin De Bruyne. Proof rookie. Track of this Nice, Mbappe, Silver Hollow. Got two really nice ones. This one's super nice. Anybody know what those go for? It's gotta be a $100 bill at least, I would think. To 50 Corona rookie press proof. Nice one there to 149 Vinicius Junior Real Madrid. Nacho Nice one there. Marcus Rashford Silver. Silver Hollow, I should say. Uh, 
How about a little Carly Lloyd action for the ladies? I was talking, I'm contemplating soaring. This is, that's the, just the optics and the, um, I think that's what I'm going to do going forward. I'm going to try to see if I can, that's the optics for one box, optics and uh, press proofs. So anything optic or press proofs, these right now are not being sorted other than rookies and the big four players. So that would be one box. So I guess if we did a three box break, it would be about three times that. I guess that wouldn't be so bad, but just to give you an idea, uh, this would be like the base for one box. Uh, so I'm kind of leaning towards just selling the base as a just as a base lot and then start to sort anyway i've got to figure this out but start to sort all all optics instead of just rookies and messi ronaldo and then uh kind of on the fence about the press proofs but i'm figuring i'll sort optics and press proofs so like i'll start sorting stuff like this um anyway that's uh kind of what I'm leaning towards because I've got several people asking me about um, press proofs and regular optics. For rookies, I, I ship everything, but non-rookies, uh, no. So that's kind of what I think I'm going to do. Yeah, I know Anthony. But yeah, I had a couple other people too, Anthony, asking me, so... I figure that way I can just do all the all the base, which would be the true brace, which would include you know base rookies like that, and then uh, that would save me from sorting about probably about a I don't know six seven hundred cards, but at the same time it would keep the price you know a little bit lower on the teams, and then you could buy the base lot still so. Kind of like we, what, exactly what we do with Select, but with this product. This is crazy. Imagine when we were doing uh, when we were doing full cases. Those first few breaks, I was sorting. I wasn't even sorting base. It was still like almost two thousand cards. Delete optic. Uh, the KDB magicians. It's the oh wow, that's the ten. You're right. I thought it was to seventy five. <laughs> Good point. I mean, it was getting sorted, but I had it on the 75 pile. You're right. Sorry, I got distracted. Six of 10. You are absolutely correct. That deserves a spot on the wall. I thought it was to 75, but that's to 10. I haven't heard of that. I've heard of maybe Optic selling for like 25, 30 bucks, but. Yeah, because if Bay Sancho is selling for 40 bucks, <clears throat> yeah, no, regular base, I, I, 
well, if it did, that would mean these boxes are undervalued. I felt like base Sancho was around, like getting close to around 10 bucks now. Acosta, uh, Optic, I don't know, maybe 25, 30, or am I off on that? Chiellini. Yeah, that is weird. Maybe they... Because, yeah, the ones with the D, you know, are the base. The ones with the O are the optic. Because usually optic, I don't know, I've, let me know if I'm wrong. My experience is optic sells about triple what regular base sells for. So if a regular base sells for like five bucks, optic sells for like 15. If a regular base sells for like 10 bucks, optic sells for like 30, maybe three to four times what the regular base sells for. So if regular base is selling for 20, you would think then optic should be selling for like 60. Eric Dyer, silver, Virgil van Dijk, green. Yeah, because I don't think people realize, like, out of your average case of this, I mean, honestly, I think you would get, like, pretty much 10 of every... <clears throat> I'm guessing just from my because I haven't done case breaks in a while but I think out of an average case you probably get about 10 of each rookie that's how many cards there are in this stuff ooh Askakibar too bad that wasn't a solid rookie I've been trying to find boxes of this. The only box I saw was, I think there's a box on eBay that I think Roman has up there for 500 bucks. Nobody else seems to have boxes anymore. Kevin De Bruyne, optic. Yeah, I mean, these have gone nuts. These are at, they were at 400 when you could still find them, but now you can't even find them at 400 anymore.
Is there any interest in base cards of non rookies? I guess other than well, probably just Mbappe. Yeah, but um, well, I guess I'll just ship all of them. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I was just thinking that that would be a pain to try to decide which ones are good and which ones aren't. Nice Havertz optic. So then that should be like a thirty dollar card now, I guess. Howard's Optic. Like the ones with the D, that's what I'm talking about. Matt's Hummels to 149. Hollow. So let's say like, I don't know, like the Heya Bay. Well, not the Heya. He's not a good example. Obviously, the Mbappes, I know, the base are worth something, but I've been keeping uh, some of those U.S. stuff. I've got a boatload of the U.S. guys, Anthony. i got to see where I put them. Let's see if there's your Mueller. Like all this stuff, like, I don't know. Like that kind of stuff I've been dumping, but Brozovic, silver. I guess it's all new because none of this stuff had any value, but I guess it's it's picking up where Yeah, that's what I thought. I imagine it's just certain players like all of a sudden like pop up. Guardado, hello. There's a Foden. Press proof. Nice little Alphonse Davies rookie. Uh, optic. What's near 200? LeBron rookies? Are you guys talking about something? We're just talking rookie base cards, right? Mbappe optic. Oh, nice. A little Sancho optic. Oh, boy. We got a one one coming up. I think it's a rookie. Wow. Tilo Carrer, one of one rookie, PSG. Damn, wish it was a good, better player. Nathan, uh, 
Nathan, I'm not going to mag this for you just because it's a one of one rookie. And if you want to get it graded, obviously not. I've been told to avoid the magnetics, especially on these paper ones. There's a line that's that's on the top loader, not on the card. Yeah, nicer top loader. Very nice. Congrats, Tilo Kara, one of one. What's at 250? You talking about those white boxes? Are we talking? Yeah, I don't have any more white boxes. Uh, honestly, haven't particularly noticed in the team all, Nick. I mean, I have noticed some problems with Obsidian, but I didn't notice if it was exclusive to Tmall. All right, the 75, uh, Dahoud. Alison. Oh wow, four of five. I was thinking green to 200 for a minute. I forgot these things are numbered to five. Wow, that's crazy. Have any of the, uh, have any of the boxes sold recently? The hobby ones? I don't know if anybody has them anymore. Guarantee you, if uh, so. yeah, blowout got a hold of them. Forget it. They'd be going for like seven, eight hundred a box. Uh, 35 of 99, Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, it's just crazy. Everything's... Raul Jimenez. Twenty-two of ninety-nine, Raul Jimenez. Yeah, I was on the center. Robbie Cruz, rookie. Alaba to ninety nine. Alaba. Oh, 
nice. Got a Mbappe Silver Hollow for PSG. We got one for France. And now we got one for PSG. Pretty good centering on that one too. All right, here we go. Yeah, no, I, I'm all for the protests, but once you start, you know, breaking windows and putting stuff on fire, that's where you lose me. You know, you want to protest, that's one thing, but yeah, that stuff's getting way out of hand. Hakimi, rated rookie. Yeah, it was like crazy. They were showing it looked like a war zone. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And I think 95% of the people protesting feel that way too. I, I don't think, you know, it's only like a couple percent, but that's all you see on TV is the... But that's all it takes. You get like 10,000 people out there and you got like 50 crazy people with Molotov cocktails. They can do a lot of damage. Alcantara to 149. You couldn't get dinner? <laughs> Geez, Saeem's going hungry. Yeah, in LA it's really bad. That's like right by the grove where we usually go and my friends live like a couple blocks away from there. Saying it's crazy, they're not leaving the house. Foden, Optic, Company to 75, or Foden, sorry, I keep saying Foden, it's Foden. At least that's what I've been told. So it's not Foden, it's Foden. Be a lot of sorting. Alex is not going to be happy, but we'll see.
Who does Sargent play on? Is he in the MLS or what? Oh, Sargent is on Bremen? Oh, nice. I didn't realize that. That's good. Give me PSG in 99. All right, let's see what I can do. And you should have told me that before the break, Derek, before I grabbed all those PSG boxes. Manchester City, Mendy. All right, Kandreva red, Dybala red. There's a. Uh, let me give you that. Let me ask for that. Vinicius Junior. Press proof red. Eden Azard to 200, 54 of 200. Harry Kane, Cavani, how about Askakibar? Tagliafico and Aguero Optic Ronaldo Timothy Wea PSG Press proof Press proof red If that's good or not but hey it's in the box oops Asensio, Hernandez, Ah. 
Oh, is that what happens on eBay? Like end of the month sales go down. Beginning of the month sales go up. Wow, nice one there. How about Matisse Delete? Green rookie sickness. Congrats, Netherlands. Uh, 186 of 200. What's up, Tommy? Yeah, beginning of the month. Griezmann and Trap. Mr. Bowden. Like faux leather. Foden. Be a lot of base out of three boxes. Alaba and Witzel. How about Chiesa? How's about Pavon to 200? Mueller and Neymar. McKinney, rookie.
Whatever. Verati. Pavon. Nikola Vlasic. Ivan Rakitic. Pique. Godan. Ashraf Hakimi. Right there, Brazovic, Mr. Ronaldo, Red Press Proof, Bon Matisse Delete, Red Press Proof. Jesus and Cruz, Australia. Well, Justin Cliver. Rookie, Arthur. Yuri Tillmans, Manuel Neuer. Arthur again.
probably price uh, zeros, and also because most people are, a lot of people are chasing after the rookies and uh, the silvers like sell really well for Ronaldo, Messi, Rashford, and uh, who's the other guy? And Pulisic. So Brazil, you still have Neymar silvers and hollows, but it's mainly chasing after you know Pele, Neymar, the the autos. So um, I just think, yeah, I think it's more because of you know I mean they are cheaper because like Argentina and Portugal are like one twenty nine. Uh, I think U.S. is like 189 and England's like 159, if I recall correctly. But Brazil is like 92, I think. Uh, to 75, um, Bonucci. World Cup final, would I want Messi or Pele? Is that a trick question? I'd say Pele for sure, but I don't know. Obviously in their prime. <laughs> but I'm an old school guy. <laughs> but I'm, I don't know. Maybe I guess the younger whippersnappers, they'll say they want uh, Messi. Yeah, Pele is is hard to hit. That is absolutely true. Peel. <laughs> I thought Fodden was bad, but hey, Peel. That's Alex is going to hate me. He's going to be like, what were you thinking? I start shipping uh, all optic and test proof, but hey, we'll see. That's why he gets the, makes the big bucks. Okay. Is right next to each other. One for each. Pull on buy sell. What pull is on buy sell? I didn't, was that Messi or Pele pull or what?
Oh, a best player pool. Chris, let's see. Best player all time. I don't see it. it. Must be way down. Oh, there it is. Goat is that greatest of all time? That's what it is. Wow. Pele's third. Maradona's fifth? No way. Maradona's better than Messi or Ronaldo. Are you kidding me? Maradona in his prime was like... He was like a god amongst men. I don't see that same kind of dominance from Messi or Ronaldo. Pele was kind of the same. He like looked like a adult playing amongst school children. Honestly, in his prime, I mean, I never saw Pele really play in his prime, so I was too young to, to see that. But Maradona in his prime, I would take over Messi or Ronaldo in his prime any day. Now, yeah, the drugs and the craziness and the fact that he's kind of an ass, that's a different story. But when it comes to just player... I mean, I don't see Messi and Ronaldo doing the kind of stuff that Maradona would get the ball on this end of the pitch and dribble through eight people and score, you know? Alcacer. No, I know. I mean, Pele did too. So that's what I'm saying. I didn't see Pele. I mean, I've seen, I've seen highlights of Pele doing the same thing. I mean, it's almost funny. Like when he went to the NA at Nash to the U.S. to play. I mean, he was like literally like toying with all these guys, like just dribbling it around them, and you know, it was almost like the Harlem Globetrotters of of soccer. Yeah, no, honestly, for me, it would be between Pele and Maradona. I mean, I it was pretty close. I I voted Pele, but just because Maradona is kind of an ass, but can't hold that against them when it comes to ability. Greatest World Cup goal ever. The hand of God. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that. Or the other one. I was in that stadium. They had a... I was in Azteca Stadium last... Yeah, a couple years ago, and... They had a huge picture of that right on the on the wall. The hand of God. Yeah, exactly. If there was VAR back then, it would be a different story.
Chandreva, 95 of Kai Havertz. Yeah, sorry to hear that, David. That sucks. Lucky San Diego is pretty chill. Uh, LA is kind of nuts right now, too. Uh, to 100, Kevin De Bruyne. They do martial law there too, you're like not supposed to be out. Well, it's already pretty dark, so here, so it's gotta be, what is it there, like 10 o'clock, 10.30? Thomas Mueller, hollow. Paul Pogba to 75. Yeah, Rick, I know. I saw in L.A. you're not supposed to. That was like right next to the Grove. Uh, I hang out there all the time when I'm up in L.A. That's why my wife loves to shop there at that world market and everything. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold to 99. That place is awesome. The food is great. I love eating there. Eric Lamella, such a fine fella, to 75. So 
all blurry. Sorry, guys. I fixed it. There we go. All right, let's go. There's like a crap load of stuff I top load in this now. I don't know if I'll continue to do that just because I'm so low on top loaders, but for now. Let's do our recap. Got a uh, Christian Pulisic for Foden. We've got uh, Optic, a uh, press proof, and a red press proof. Uh, well, Sancho, we had him up on the wall. For Mbappe, we have two Optics for France, one Optic for PSG. Uh, junior, press proof red. A couple of Optics for Davies. A couple of optics for Havertz, uh, a couple of optics and a red for Delete, red press proof and uh, Ronaldo, uh, Azart to 200 to 99, Arnold, Candreva, and De Bruyne. We have a rookie to 125, uh, Askakibar, Corona to 50. Autographs, uh, Lamella to 75, Lindsey Horan, Alaba, Jimenez, and Renato Sanchez. All right, going up to the wall, we had a couple of uh, press proofs for Jaden Sancho. We had, uh, where do we go? I don't know. Marcus Rashford, hollow. Ronaldo, uh, explosive for Juve. Uh, Ronaldo, hollow for Portugal. Mbappe, red press proof for PSG. Uh, De Bruyne to 10. Timo Werner, hollow. Alisson to 5 for Brazil. Alisson to 5. We had uh, Carly Lloyd Otto for the ladies. Uh, junior to 149 for Real Madrid. Uh, Matisse Delete to 200, rookie. Then we had hollows for Mbappe for PSG and a hollow for Mbappe for France. And we had a one of one for PSG. Tilo Carrer. Imagine if that was like one of the big guys, like a Sancho or a Davies or someone like that. That would be monster money right there. I was thinking, but if breakers start including. Keep chucking them. <laughs> okay. Well, I've been keeping the bait. No, I mean, I'm not chucking the, the like, Sancho's and the, the rookies anymore. Those I, I sell as a lot, but the regular. I mean, but honestly, I kind of, like, in select, I was chucking the Rashfords until, like, three weeks ago. And then someone started saying, hey, can you sort the Rashfords for me? And the next thing I know, uh, people are wanting to buy the base. So, but, yeah, and this product, too, I mean, as of three, four months ago, I was pretty much, ch I mean, England was 50 bucks and we were chucking all the base, you know? Yeah, England was $50, like, in Jersey Palooza, so you still, yeah, I mean, I was breaking this product, I was just happy to honestly break even, this was like the product you were happy to break even on, because you made your profit on, they forced you to buy 10 cases of Donruss to get one case of Eminence, and if you could just like not lose money on the Donruss, then you'd make your profit on the eminence. Now it's the opposite. They're like, you know. Yeah, Nick, I remember. 